that wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <gasps> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Dirty enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? I was thinking, because it's so... Warm. Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but... Maybe it's just different in Spartalfon? I lie. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it... Winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them.
Father, up there. Find anything good up there? <laughs> hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Cindy, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. This is red. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Look out! Look out! Still on poison! Good thing you learned the runes, brother. That's everything here. Wanna get going? Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Strange bugger popped back out of the ground again. <laughs> Too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> you did it. <gasps> Let's see what it drops. <gasps>
Father, there. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. You can uncover that geyser from here. Oh, I think I get it. If you squeeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Lock's coming down. <laughs> nice one. Can you see anything from that block? Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Hi, Atreus. Beyond... Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither the Leon brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're uh running away. An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to we you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The 
buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. <laughs> That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Take your time. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in Neither Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whoo! There. Oh, take there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or for you. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow?
Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain materials... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lear. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. What can I make for you? So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? <laughs> At your service. I'll disinfect my tools. <gasps> Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. <laughs> Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. I think I see something. Sorry to bother you. If you're you. selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. Sparkthorn. Hmm. Hmm. 
A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she... ...where subtle means... <laughs> This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off.
Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following me. Was being the key word here, little brother. saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate our spinning rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Namir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. That dragon sculpture is not bad. Oh, 
Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. Someone there. Please. I need help. What do you want? Well, to put it simply, treasure. The cache just over there, to be precise. My son and I, we... We came to these isles to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and... was, well, seemingly proven right. How can we help? My son, I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. We were sailors once. Let me go and seek our fortunes. You believe him? Do you? I think if he was trying to protect his son by abandoning him, he's a pretty bad father. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. 